Devices and Technologies that BI Professionals Use. These are the tools that we are going to be using every single day in the business intelligence world. You see, whether you went into the engineering side or you went into the analytical side, one thing that those careers have in common is data. And while we're not using any particular special equipment to do our work, we're using a few different pieces of software that you need to be familiar with. And the first one right here on the screen, you can see Microsoft Excel. Excel changed the game years ago when it came out because it empowered people to start building their own data sets and interacting data with themselves. So now we have a lot of data in these flat Excel files. All of our users have these, these files just floating out in the ether. We need to collect them and report on them using our analytical tools. The next tool that we need to be familiar with is working with databases. You see, Excel can only grow so much, but databases can expand massively. We can collect a tremendous amount of data and then spread it out logically across a database so that when we need to pull the data out, it comes out much quicker than if we were trying to parse through this gigantic Excel file, you see. So understanding how to interact with databases, primarily using a programming language called SQL, spelled SQL, that's going to be a massive skill set for the BI and analytic developer. Now, the data visualization tools, they have geared themselves towards people who don't know SQL, but if you do know SQL, it's going to make your life a lot easier. Now, on to the data visualization tools. This is the fun part. This is the fancy part. This is the sexy part of business intelligence. And the first one up is Tableau. Tableau has been on the market now for a pretty long time. They rushed to the market and told the world, you don't have to be a data expert in order to have amazing, beautiful data. Tableau makes its money on the fact that it's so easy to get started in using. You can go from zero to a dashboard in 20 minutes. And the best part about Tableau, all of its stuff looks good. You see, when we're building visualizations to analyze data, it's not typically for us. It's typically for an end user to interact with that data, and it's very important that it looks really, really good. Now, the competitor to Tableau, because there can't be monopolies in this world, Microsoft came out with this tool called Power BI, and it is a phenomenally robust tool. Now, we're going to talk about the differences between Tableau and Power BI in a later nugget, but you need to know that these are the key players in the market, and these are the devices and technologies that you're going to be interacting with regularly. So these tools here, this Tableau and Power BI, their purpose in life is to connect to these databases and to connect to these Excel files and bring all the data in to these points here and visualize it into beautiful charts and dashboards. Same thing with Power BI. Now, they go about doing this very similarly. They have different ways of connecting to the data, developing your, your dashboards and your visualizations, and then publishing them to your public using something like a cloud or a server. So at the most fundamental level, let's pick on Tableau and illustrate how this works. What you're going to do is you're going to be opening up Tableau on your desktop computer. You're then going to connect Tableau to some sort of SQL database where you can then gather all of the data and draw your visualizations that you want. And lastly, when you're done developing that visualization, you're going to publish it to a server so the end users can open up a web browser type in that server's name and boom, there's your dashboard that you created right there in front of them. So now you know that BI developers are regularly interacting with data, whether it be through flat Excel files or relational SQL databases by using tools like Power BI and Tableau and then implementing their server solutions to distribute those dashboards out to the end users. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.